Okay, here we go. We've patched our show, we've set up our console. The first thing we're going to want to do now is bring some lights up. So the simplicity of this is that if you type 1 at full, you'll see on the screen that it'll say 1 at FL. Okay, it has a little red box around it, the, the thing's in red to show that it's selected. There's this little triangle here called a delta. Um, watching the screen again, if I now go 2 at full, you'll see that the little red box moves to uh, channel 2. The delta stays on uh, 1 and the 1 uh, level is still red. And that just tells me that it's not recorded anywhere. Okay, 3, full, 4, full, and so on. All right. Now, uh, this being a computer, I can click on things with my mouse like that and I can roll them up with my mouse wheel. I can select a range like that, that was click and drag. I can, with them selected, I can click and turn, uh, let's say I can click on those and turn them on and then click on those ones and turn them off. And all of those that are selected, I can fade them up and so on. So you get the vague idea of how to select lights. The um, on the console here, I've got a, a bunch of buttons that, that help me uh, select lights just directly around the keypad here. So uh, I've got 1 through 12 full. So that was a, a quick bit of keystrokes. And you can see on the screen there that it's just 1 through 12 at full. Uh, back here on the on the on my little uh, numeric keypad, I've got previous and next. And as I hit uh, previous and next, you can see on the screen, there's a, uh, you might not be able to see it, there's a little red box that's moving around to the various things. So I can go next full, next full, next full, next full, next full, or next on. Remember earlier I was talking about what the on key does, it just takes it to 80%. And that's what that's doing. Okay, there's another button here that says Remdim, very useful little button. So I can go uh, 27, let's see, 27 Remdim. And what it's done is on the screen you can see that everything that I had on has gone out and 27, 27 has gone to the on level of 80%. So uh, just an, a nice quick and neat little plotting tool there. You can see plus and minus keys on my keypad here. So I can go uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And you'll see on the screen, uh, down on the command line, it literally says 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, right down here. And then I can go full. And there they are at full. Now you can get as complex as you like with all of this. I can type uh, 1 through, uh, let's say, 20 minus... 15 through 18, full. And on my screen, that's exactly what's happened. So 1 through 20 minus that little block in the middle are selected and send them to a level, sent them to full. Beautiful. All right, so when you grab lights and you select them and you bring them up to a level, and you, I'm just doing this with the mouse and the wheel just to make it nice and easy, um, You'll notice that all of these are red. These are selected with the red box around them. Now, I can let go of all of those by hitting a key on the uh, console here, which is marked on this console as undo. On the other consoles, it might be marked as release. And uh, I might use the word release or undo interchangeably. They're both the same function, as far as I'm concerned. So on the screen, if you have a bit of a squiz, the um, first time I hit it, it'll put the word undo in the command line. We'll talk about that a little bit later if I, if I remember to do it. It's to do with doing things like undo record or undo attribute or something like that. So it allows you to do quick un, uh, going back on some various things that you can do. So that's the first time I hit that button. Second time I hit it, it gets rid of the stuff that I've selected. The third time I hit it, in this case, it got rid of everything else. If I had moving lights, then uh, it would add in another step again. But here on the console, you see I've got this little shift key down the bottom. If I go shift undo on the screen, you'll see, oh look, they've come back. And shift undo again, and the next level of things come back. So just in case you hit undo 
too many times, you can undo the undo, just very quickly. And all this is doing is, is controlling light in what's called the programmer. The programmer is when you bring lights up and you move them around, you send them to a colour and you haven't recorded them anywhere. Now you can span any kind of value that you can type. So, here in levels, I could grab all of these lights and make them go at 10 to 100. Now, how am I typing the word 2? The word 2 um, is actually the minus key on my hardware. So when I'm doing it, I'll just show you what's actually happening when I'm typing. I'm typing uh, 81 through uh, 91 at 10 to 100, enter. All right, so have a look at the screen and you can see that those lights there have spanned from 10% all the way up to full. Not so useful in intensities, very useful in, uh, in the world of pan and tilt control and things like that. So you could grab a whole bunch of lights and uh, fan them out over a range of, say, minus 90 to uh, plus 90 pan.